remember a couple weeks ago when I was all excited that we planted a bunch of stuff? Yes. It all died. <laughs> and we've had to start over. The only thing that really made it was the lavender, which, thank God, because that protects us from the smell of the ball sack tree. Oh. And Dan's herb garden. So Dan still has fresh mint for his cocktails, and we have fresh catnip for the cats. And we don't have to smell the ball sack tree. Everything else died. Everything else died. Tell them about the bird feeder. And the best part. we hung a bird feeder because, you know, cats, and we like them to have television. Because I'm a no, no. fucking dumb... Nice. No, 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 no. I, I did it. I told you where to hang it. <laughs> but I appreciate you jumping on the grenade. <laughs> We hung it. We have landscaping rock in the front, and it's nice landscaping rock because it looks good for like two weeks, and then it looks like because it gets dirt in it, it gets leaves in it, it whatever. Mm. So anyway, we have landscaping rock in the front, and I'm a dumb no, no. who didn't realize that bird seed is made of seeds. So the birds spilled seed everywhere, and now we have all yep. these shoots of weeds coming up in our stupid yep. fucking landscaping rocks. I yep. murdered them with pesticide with herbicide though. So I pissed off a green witch <laughs> at some point in my life. Did you know there's all different kinds of witches? I learned this from TikTok. <laughs> there's like Christian witches who dispel demons. That's and then that's not a like, that, that's called a, that that's a cleric is, like, is what that is. Well, I'm like most Christian religions think witchcraft is a sin, but whatever. You're a cleric. That's, that's then how that there's works. witches from literally every pagan pantheon. Mm. Then there's the green witches who all have 36 plants that all have names. So clearly, at some point, I wronged a green witch, and she night text me. Well, we're 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 doing okay with ours. Uh, my my blueberries are are growing. Well, they're doing okay. They're still coming back after several, almost a decade of neglect. Let's be perfectly honest. Those bushes were not treated well. But I'm working on them. We actually got blueberries. We we made blueberry cake, but um, we also have squirrels and birds. So to combat the squirrels and birds, um, I I got I, I got a robot owl, like Clash of the Titans. That's what everyone says. It's like, oh, it's Boobo. No, it's 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 well, it kind of is. What they make is it's, it's this plastic owl with a motor in its neck that spins it can go around and around and the eyes light up and it makes noise and it's motion that's terrifying it's motion activated and it's solar powered and i put it by the blueberry bushes so that if any any animals come near it it screams at them and its head rotates and its eyes mean. flash what like, if I went out into my own yard and that happened, I would never leave the house again. <laughs> um, hey, now he's going to buy one just to fight me. I, I did. I, it's, I'm not, it's not like I'm poisoning the fucking Nine. animals. It's just a way of staying stay the Nine. way. It's just, you know, please let me have my blueberries. Yeah. And uh, they're, they're coming in okay. But yeah, I, now I, I had to protect my blueberries. I cut a foot on a hole. I haven't seen many squirrels around here, and that's weird. Oh, I have. They, they, man, when we fill the bird feeder, they work in tandem. Like, I thought squirrels were everywhere. They're here. I've, I haven't seen any squirrels. And that's the thing. Like, we had so many problems with the squirrels with the bird feeder in New Jersey that I got them their own feeder. No, it's the best thing. When we, the have, we have several little bunnies that live in our neighborhood, but I haven't seen any squirrels. When the bird feeder's full, it's the, we got like four or five of little bastards. And what they'll do is one of them will run up, leap over to the bird feeder, and knock some seed out of it. Yeah. And another, it's like they're, it's like a water park ride. They're all waiting their turn. Because <laughs> one of them does it and falls down and eats the seed. Then another one climbs up, right? And they're like a line forming to do yeah, over they're, and over. They're, they're crafty. <laughs> I think I've told you about my the solution my uncle came up with. Mm. He had a birdhouse feeder on a pole. Yeah. And the squirrels kept getting to it. So what he did was he dug a trench around the pole. And then he put a tire around the trench and then he greased the pole. So that the squirrel would have to vault the tire and the trench. And if they could do that, they'd slide down the pole. <laughs> it worked. I mean, when he explained it to us, we were all like, 
how's retirement going anyway? Like, <laughs> do you just need something to do? But it was effective. Uh, all right. Well, with that in mind, now that we've talked about horticulture and everybody's on YouTube going like, why are they talking about it? Who can't oh I hate it when they just talk about random shit. Like, just do the stories and don't I have opinions. Piss off and leave. I don't give a fuck. You're not welcome. <laughs> anyway, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dare audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And let's let's start. This is one that apparently is breaking all over the place. Even the major sites are talking about this. This is like the story of the day. So a weird thing happened at eBay last fall. Their CEO, out of nowhere, quit. Or, well, was was sort of resigned. But it made perfectly clear that he wasn't welcome anymore. It was a conscious uncoupling? And, you know, it just kind of passed everybody by. They're like, oh, okay, that's, that's odd. But, okay, you know, that happens well today we come into we we found out um a little bit more of what the fuck was going on over there and never has this show been more aptly named as what the fuck is wrong with you holy f oh my god um ebay execs sent roaches and bloody pig mask to harass journalists Jared Leto was the CEO of eBay? People have already forgotten who he is. Um, <laughs> so what happened was um, six former, oh, six, six former eBay employees were charged with leading a cyber stalking campaign against a newsletter editor and publisher. I want to point that out. A newsletter. This wasn't even like somebody who worked for like CBS or New York yeah, Times. Yeah, like the New York Times. This yeah. was like, like fucking independent shit. Just people made a newsletter, which included the sending the couple anonymous threatening messages, disturbing deliveries, including a box of live cockroaches, a funeral wreath, and a bloody pig mask. The cockroaches is fucked up because you will ruin someone's life that way. And conducting all it takes is one cockroach, and a week later you have a thousand cockroaches. And conducting covert surveillance on the victims. James Ball, 45, is eBay's former security dir senior director of security and safety. David Harville, 48, is eBay's former director of global resiliency. Both were arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit cyber stalking and conspiracy to tamper with witnesses. Four more people were arrested. Th this went to the COO. The CEO was aware of this shit. Now, what did these people do that was so terrible? They wrote articles that were critical of eBay. And they had anonymous comments under it. And for that, the people working at eBay decided they needed to be taken down. Legend so they were on the internet, basically. Alleged crimes took place in August and September 2019. Four other former eBay employees uh, were arrested today, but faced the same charges. Uh, they include Stephanie Pop, 32, eBay's former senior manager of global intelligence. Stephanie Stockwell, 26, former manager of eBay's global intelligence center. Veronica Z, 26, a former eBay contractor who worked as an intelligence analyst. analyst. Brian Gilbert, 51, a former senior manager of special operations for eBay's global security team. Um... It is alleged that in August 2018, after the newsletter published an article about litigation involving eBay, two members of eBay's executive leadership team sent or forwarded text messages suggesting it was time to, quote, take down the newsletter's editor. Another message from one unnamed eBay executive to another said, we are going to crush this lady. Why? The take are you fucking Scientology? The takedown message this was followed. This is how Scientology acts. Followed by a three-part harassment campaign by my washing machine. Uh, 
I mean, we're about on schedule for the aliens, so that's what I just assumed. I don't know if I wanted that out or not. Uh, <laughs> So what what happened was uh, they 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 doxed the victims, published the home address. Um, they they made up one of them made up uh, after registering for a software development concept conference as a pretext to go to Boston. They drove to the victim's house in Natick several times. Our villain ball intended at one point to break into the victim's garage and install a GPS tracking device on their car. Why? eBay fired employees and the CEO left. This also, this, this uh, all involved, uh, as well as inv investigation, eBay terminated all involved employees, including the company's, for company's former chief communications officer. Uh, Dave, Devin uh, Wenig was the CEO of eBay at the time of the incidents and left the company in September 2019. Why? Yes, why? 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 What the? You ruined your lives. And your careers. All of it. For somebody who plows. Oh god, there's a fucking plane now. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking conspiracy tonight. eBay. They know we're talking about this. <laughs> eBay has decided to take us down. All of this shit over somebody who wrote. This is like the end of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah. Except way more. This is like that mixed with like misery or some shit, you know, this is this is like they should rename the stray sand effect for this. Because the bad press you have brought on is exponential. They had to what you were dealing with. They had to fire so many members of senior management to deal with. Senior men, this wasn't like, you know, a bunch right. of like, this wasn't the fucking interns. No, 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 no. These were like the, the global security for the fucking company. The people who make sure that the banks and, like, and all that stuff were, oh my God. This was like six people. Mm -hmm. At no point did somebody be like, guys, maybe we're taking this too far. <laughs> maybe this isn't necessary. Like, what? What is it about a company that your head can get in this mind space when all of this seems perfectly reasonable and justified in response to criticism? Something fucking weird is going on in Palo Alto. That's all I can say. That that entire area. I, yeah. Like you, in general. You've got you've got Musk out there, you've got Google out there, you've got fucking Microsoft. That, that entire area. It's just some is weird shit out there. What? Zuckerberg? Yeah, Facebook's in the area, yeah. He's the first pod person. <laughs> and he went and got the rest of them. Uh, Bill Gates fucking bounced when he saw it starting. He was like, fuck this, I'm out, I'm curing malaria. This is, this is real, I mean, I, how much what the fuck is wrong with you can you get something like this shit? You thought, at eBay, I'm just like, man, this is a place I can get old vacuum tubes and, like, use computer shit. No, no, this is a place that harasses people! Like, apparently eBay is the fucking frat house from every 80s movie ever. Christ almighty. No, it's not only a frat. It was like, they were spawning this, like, counter intel pro or shit. The fuck was this? Fuck, over one bad review or one bad article. Newsletter, just shit. Well, we're not, we're not quite done. There's, there's, there's more terrible stuff. Let's get back to our, our normal wheelhouse. Um, have you had to go out shopping during the pandemic? Yes. One of the things I've had to do is adjust to something the stores have done, the grocery stores. They've put these arrows mm, on the floor. Yeah. In the, you, you just could, scolded me for that the other day. Right. There's like, oh, yeah, I've been like, oh, you shouldn't go that. Oh, OK, OK. It's just like a one way. And my response to that it was, yeah, you need to go around. I'm like, OK, cool. Sorry. Didn't know. Like he was like, no, no, it's one way now. And I was like, oh, I'm an asshole. Hang on. That's one way of reacting to it. Here's another. Shoppers brawl over one-way arrows. A fight yesterday over directional arrows on the floor of a Goodwill ended with a pair of shoppers under arrest for battery. According to police, Jenna Sims, 29, was inside the Tampa area thrift store when she got into a confrontation with Paul Turner, 50, over the floor directions 
due to the human malware. Part of Goodwill Industries coronavirus. Ah, goddamn, I'm going to bleep that out. Stupid YouTube. Uh, safety measures. One way aisles have been established to allow patrons to more easily maintain a six foot distance. Stop say that Sims was upset upon spotting Turner going the wrong way in an aisle. During an ensuing argument, Sims allegedly struck Turner. Turner responded by shoving Sims away. Now, I kind of don't blame him. Yeah. Because if some little white lady comes up to me and starts screaming in my face, instead of like, um, excuse me, sir, could you? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. My bad. No, no, no. She said, Ma! Here's my problem with her logic, though. Mm. If your complaint is, hey, you're not doing social distancing right. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you shouldn't then have an awful lot of physical contact with the person <laughs> in a manner that will force bodily fluids to shoot out of parts of their head. You, you, it's like you kind of missed the fucking point here, didn't you? Hey, you yeah. look at, the mug shots tell the story. Look at the dude and look like at her. She, yeah, like she won the fight. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he was just like, please stop. Uh, but like when you punch somebody, their eyes tear. When you hit somebody a bunch of times, they bleed. And it looks like he, she might have opened up his nose a bit. Like, if you're concerned about the malware, maybe you don't. Use another person like a percussion instrument. Until they <laughs> I mean, seriously, if so, I said, you know what? Even if I see someone doing the, sh the, the shit in the, the fucking aisles wrong, my response is pretty much like, that ain't my problem. Yeah. I, I shrug it off. He glared like we were we were in one store and the woman had the mask. She had she had a protecting her chin. <laughs> and he glared at her until she pulled it up. Cause he's pretty fucking creepy when he glares at you. <laughs> like he, I know, I know he looks like a big fuzzy teddy bear, but he can be pretty fucking scary. So he just glares at people, and he can like go without blinking for half an hour. At the goodwill of all fucking places. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's no goodwill to be had. Let's see what else is on our agenda today. We've kind of bouncing all over the place. Now, normally this this sort of thing is just infuriating and terrible and a little bit evil. But this one puts a little idiotic cherry on top. Here we go. North Carolina man charged with threatening to burn down black church. Well, that's that's awful. The phone call came on June 7th after a church leader took part in a prayer vigil and demonstration related to the death of George Floyd. Okay, that's terrible. Yeah. John Malcolm Bearswill, 63, of Catawba, North Carolina, telephoned the church uh, on the morning of June 7th. Um, two people in the church heard the call, and the man told them, you racial slur, not going to say it, need to shut up and then threaten to set fire to the church. That's horrible. Let's get to the stupid part. Investigators checked phone records and discovered the church received one call that morning and traced the number to a cell phone belonging to Bearswell. He told them he did not call any churches that morning. He was asleep at the time. But. But a review of the phone showed that Barswell had searched for information about black churches in the area, including the one that received the call. His cell phone data also relieved that, revealed that a call to the church was placed in the morning. <laughs> like, I know it's harder <laughs> to be this particular flavor of asshole now because pay phones aren't really a thing anymore. Oh, I remember those, yeah. And that's like the kids in the audience are like, what's a pay phone? They're not really a thing anymore. You can't just go to a fucking gas and sip yeah. and make an anonymous threatening call. And that must suck for you. Yeah. It also must suck for you at your age that it's not socially acceptable to burn down black churches anymore. That must be really hard. But you're just going to have to suck it the fuck up. I, the, the, just the, the fact that, oh no, I, I totally didn't. You got your Google search here. 
How did you get that? It's on your fucking phone, you fucking idiot. Maybe if you're gonna... Like, we are all carrying a little 6x3 surveillance device. True, yeah. On us all the all time. All the time. We've just seeded that ground. Yep. Like, in, in order to play Candy Crush, we have seeded that ground. Let's, let's, but there's a, there's a big subset of people that seem to still not understand that. Let's get that baffled mugshot there. He's, he's definitely looked yeah. like, how did they find me? I don't know how they caught me. How did, how did this happen? I, I took every precaution. I changed my voice and everything. How did they know? What's America coming to? You can't even set black people on fire anymore. What's an IP address? I've heard of IP freely. I don't know where he lives. What is this? Time, it's time to retire from crime. <laughs> you racist old shit. Uh, speaking of retiring, um, we all kind of have in our heads what we're going to do when we get older. I mean, not like we're going to live without working. We're all going to work till we die because we, we've screwed up America. But, you know, we're like, I'd like to, to you know, to do something with the lawn, plant some stuff here, you know, just just settle down. One dude in Cambodia had had some lawn decorating ideas for for later in life. Um, gotta question his decorating choices. Cambodian man kept live landmines as yard decorations. Oh no! Authorities in northwestern Cambodia have scolded a man for his lawn decorations. Old landmines and other abandoned ordnance still containing live explosives. About 30 unexploded munitions were hung from a tamarind tree and scattered around the man's yard. Ken Shring, who was... he had a squirrel problem, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not for long. Went to the man's home Wednesday, collected munitions for destruction, and they were left over from three decades of civil war, civil war that ended in the 90s. He said the man used to be a junk collector and gathered devices from rice fields and forests near his home to sell his scrap. A man whose name was not released um, said that after the government banned the sale and purchase of landmines, he didn't know what to do with them. Do you know who this is, really? Who is this? It's the old man from Hot Fuzz. <laughs> It's just a load of junk. He says yeah. it's just a load of junk. That's who this is. He says it's just a load of junk. Yeah. I've both. <laughs> yeah. Walter Frey's backcountry cousin. What in the name of... Jesus Christ! Like, how do you... Do you not walk in your own yard? This was just, this guy was one accident away from launching a tree into space. Yeah. <laughs> guy was one accident away from launching his left leg into space. <laughs> Those uh, things are not toys. Jesus Christ. And they're, not, they're not even good. I don't know why you decorate with them. They're not particularly attractive. Well, there's, there's one way to say no solicitors. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I mean, if you just spell out fuck you and land on <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have a front yard. Our front yard is six feet of landscaping rock with weeds uh, in it. Also, no. You know, let's let's go to the Great White North and then see how how things are going up there. Not very well. Um, the next two stories, two stories are from Winnipeg, completely unrelated. Both from Winnipeg. I don't know how this happened. First one. Um, you know how they say that that the the suspect always returns to the scene of the crime. Yeah. Not usually because they forgot their fucking keys. <laughs> suspect oh. forgets keys at a crime scene, apprehended when he returns. Oh, honey. <laughs> A suspected burglar in Brandon was caught when he returned to the scene of the crime to grab his car keys. <laughs> Around 3.50 a.m. on Sunday morning, a woman uh, a woman called police saying her husband had caught a man who broke into their garage. Once on scene, police arrested the suspect. While he was being taken to custody, the suspect injured one of the officers. 
Brandon Police Service said the officer was uh, kicked. One of the officers. He was not injured. Um, continued investigation determined the suspect had broken into the garage earlier that night, stealing two bicycles, a laptop computer, and a bar fridge. Who keeps a laptop in their garage? In- anyway. Um, police say the suspect hid some items nearby while returning to his apartment. Once in his building, the suspect realized he had lost his keys and could not gain entrance to his apartment complex. Suspect used a rock to smash the glass door of the building, but still did not have keys to get into his apartment. So he broke it. So he broke a window to try to get in. It didn't work. Suspect then returned to the garage he broke into earlier in search of his lost keys when the homeowner apprehended him. According to police, the suspect was intoxicated. So that's rule one. Don't do your crime drunk. Um, that's going to lower, lower your, your ability to successfully complete said crime. Um, don't drink maybe in crime. Don't, maybe don't bring your house keys to your burglary. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or your phone or your wallet. Yeah. Leave maybe the, just leave those in the car. Right. Leave those someplace else while you do crime. All of your identification stuff. Leave that someplace else. What the fuck? I just... The the, the fact that he came back. I mean, either way, he was going to get caught because they were going to be able to... I mean, I don't know if they can trace keys, but like... God damn you, eBay! <laughs> I think the laundry's done now. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Last one. We're just gonna just finish this up with with all out. What in the fuck just happened? And we, we say this off, I say this off on the show, you, you never know, one morning you wake up, you go out, and suddenly, naked people. Naked man crashes stolen ambulance into Portuguese Cultural Center in Winnipeg. That is an arrangement of words. <laughs> a naked man driving a stolen ambulance crashed into a cu- Winnipeg Cultural Center Friday morning, narrowly missing some people. Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service Chief John Lane said the incidents began around 8.30 a.m. Paramedics en route to another station happened upon someone who was, quote, clearly in need of assistance. He said he couldn't elaborate on why the man needed help because doing so would violate the man's privacy. They're very polite. They're yeah. very, very Canadian. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to embarrass him. When the paramedics stopped to try to help the man, though, he began threatening them. It deteriorated with within 70 seconds of them encountering this individual. he but acted, was he already naked? He acted in a very aggressive, violent manner. Paramedics notified police of the emergency, but the man ran past them, jumped into the ambulance, and drove off. Shortly after, he cr- crashed into the Portuguese Cultural Center on Notre Dame. Uh, Courtney Creasy... He fucked up that ambulance. Oh, yeah. Let's let's have a look at the front. Oh, he... he ba-boom. Courtney Creasy said, saw it all unfold after it happened. She said she saw the man leave with some items uh, he apparently took from the vehicle. He jumped out of the ambulance and acted like nothing happened. The airbags had gone off. He was completely nude. Nothing on. Creasy said she ran into the office locking the door behind her. <laughs> yep. That's not a situation where acting natural no. is going to work. It's like, like the, there are situations where if you just if you just act natural, you can get away with some shit. When you have just crashed an ambulance into a building while naked, dude was quite literally rocking out with his cock out. Yeah, ain't nobody <laughs> want that. Ain't you nobody. can't just you can't just walk away and be like, oh. <laughs> no, no amount of casual whistling <laughs> is going to cover that. <laughs> Smash into the door and just be like, well. Uh, I think I'm going to Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> Vehicles recovered. A man's been taken into custody. 
Um, <laughs> they say it's too early to say if the incident is related to drug use. They also can't divulge that information for privacy reasons. Look, we're not saying he wasn't on drugs, <laughs> but we're not saying that. That's all. We're not saying he wasn't on drugs. That's all we're, we're not saying. Definitely not saying that he tried to smoke his own cat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're not not saying that either. We're not not saying it. We're not. Jeez, you can be going along, minding your own business any day of the week, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Penis. <laughs> just out Suddenly of. Suddenly, penis is standing beside you. Out of nowhere. That's, that's life in the world. You just. We don't appreciate this. No one tells you this when you're growing up. Nobody, you're, it's not like you go to school and there's, they give you the sex ed, if you're lucky these days, you get the sex ed, but there's not another day where like, okay, guess what, sorry, you know what all the shit's for? Now, just so you know, someday, you might just be living your life and all of a sudden, someone will be naked at you. And you won't know why. You, you, you won't know why. And it's best not to ask. But sometimes it's just going to happen. It's just, it's a thing that can happen in life. I. I didn't get that talk. I got the one talk. I didn't no. get the, I didn't get the beware of naked talk. Uh. There's, there's a, a Reddit post on their relationship advice forum. This guy was asking, he'd been telling his girlfriend had been wanting to meet his parents and he kept telling her no, because they were really racist. And then she was like, why are you still talking to them if they're so racist? And he finally had to own up that actually they lived in a nudist colony. <laughs> and I was like, why did you think that being really racist was better? <laughs> Dark Angel of Otaku in the channel says, oh, we should name the episode eBay of Pigs. And I that's perfect. <laughs> that 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 has yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, so the first thing we learned this week is at any time, anywhere, some point in your life, someone will be naked at you, whether you like it or not. Yep. Just that that's you just have to prepare for that. That is that is the world. That is your life. That is humanity. Someone is going to be naked at you. Just the world we live in. Uh, we've learned that if you're going to do crime, maybe leave your identifying uh, things yeah. at home. Just you know. For a... Um, we've learned that landmines are not a good substitute for pink flamingos. No. Um, bird, maybe a bird bath. I don't care how much you hate your neighbors. Build a deck, maybe. You you could put in a Zen garden. Not fucking landmines. We have a neighbor with a whole little setup of garden gnomes that are zombies. <laughs> yeah, they're zombie gnomes. I didn't know you could get those, but you can. This is also the same state that, that legalized weed like immediately. So um, we also on one of our excursions found an entire nativity set that was all moose. It's a weird place. A lot of drugs. Um, <laughs> we we've learned that uh, <laughs> you might have grown up with the Jerky Boys, but my friend, times have changed. Yeah, that's that's not how you that's not how the you can't do the phone crime like that. We've learned that if someone is violating the social distancing rules, your best bet is to just give them a wide berth, not start wailing on them. No. That's kind of defeating the purpose. I don't think you yeah. uh, you quite understand why we're doing this shit. You're kind of taking the wind out of your argument there. Seriously, right? And finally, we've learned it doesn't matter where you work or how high up you are or, or how much you're making a year. You can still be a colossal bag of madness. Yeah. And make six figures for it. They had to fire like everybody running the goddamn company. But on the other hand, free shipping. So. Yeah. 
I wonder how much of the stuff that they mailed to them they actually bought off eBay. <laughs> actually, they pointed out they that okay. They sent apparently there there is a place on Amazon who will send live roaches. There's also a place on Amazon that will send out a pig fetus in a jar, but the person who was sending the pig fetus realized something was weird, so they didn't send the pig fetus. Apparently, appar weird. apparently there was he it was hinky, so he decided that you gotta admire the pig fetus guy is is monitoring for ethical shipment of pig fetus. Yeah. Wouldn't want an unethically sourced pig fetus while we're trying to burn somebody's life down. Fucking hell. You could have gone your whole life without knowing that. There is some terrible shit you can buy on Amazon, man. You, you start digging down, it gets fucking weird. <laughs> really quick. Uh, I mean, you th you saw that old joke about the review on the 100-gallon uh, the, the tub of lube. Yes. That's real. I know. I'm still looking for a reason to buy that. Just so I can say that I did. It's 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 like Costco in hell. That's what Amazon is. 